while describing the Supreme Mother, Parashakti, it is another name for God. It is neither a male nor female. If you call it female, it is for your satisfaction. We love to have a mother. Unmesha Nimesha Nipanna Netra Bhuvana Avallai Namaha The mother opens eyes, then there is creation. She closes her eyes, creation was withdrawn. Unmesha Nimesha Nipanna Netra Lalita Sahasran Lodi Imata Somebody asked me, want, want a direct example that can convince me? A description rather than an example, he would say that I am false. Suppose I have been sleeping or you have been sleeping. You have a dream. You had met in your dream half a dozen personalities. They have been introduced to you as an artist, as a writer, this and that, a lawyer and so on. You meet many people. The dream vanished when you woke up. Now during the time of dream, you have been introduced to them and they have been speaking to you and you were discussing many things. Are they a reality at a time of a dream? Let me know what you think of it. During the time of the dream, they were a reality. But dream itself is not a reality. Again, we have to add this sentence quickly. During the time of my dreaming, all the people I met were existing and they were a reality. But the dream itself is not a reality. So we are characters in the dream of God because he created it from only his mind. He did not get material from market to build this up. In this sense, the dream is a creation of God from only his mind. Mind is only a thought. The matters that were part of the thought cannot be real because the thought itself is unreal. Thought of an object. I think of a mango. Mango is reality as long as my thought is a reality. Thought itself being not real. The object also is not real. The characters in somebody's dream. Aina swapnan lo manam patralaite. Swapname abadhamaite. Manan real at lautam. How can you be real when you are a character in somebody's dream? All that we are going through in somebody's dream. This statement is not false. Therefore, try to dwell upon that. Understand the nature of the so-called reality. Then you will get rid of everything. The cloud, the myth vanishes. You will see pure, real, that is Nirguna, the unqualified Brahman in which you are one with God and you are the God. The essence of God is Brahman. The form and nature of God is pervasive. Existing in the myth, it pervades the whole universe. There is God in many functional forms. So all gods is God. All souls also is God. Nature is his creation. Creation means it is not an absolute truth. A projection of his thought. There is nothing else but God. There is no God but Brahman again. It is very interesting projection. This way moksha is already obtained. When you think of it, you may go on playing the role of false human being in a false world, experiencing the good and bad, all which are false. But yourself, a character created by the dramatist. Moksha ki de margam kane ninnu reality ananakomani writer has written. The poet has written certain conversation into your mouth in which you are supposed to speak and deliver the speech. It is not truth. The poet knows that it is his imagination and the creation is falsehood. The creator, actor also knows the falsehood. The drama is over, cut and down. They wash off their makeup and Mr. John is a John. He is no more the Hamlet. The falsity has ended. Congrats, you played well, he said. Why is he pleased? He is pleased that he is able to show the falsehood perfectly. Chitta chivariki pranam poeta pudu. Thana atma vasthuveya devatarupanga kanipinchindani atrinan delusun. Mundu teridu. Tyaga razulanti vadu. Kuda neku yedu rozullo mutram istanu anad. Ramudu kanbadda dentada. Yavada ramudu. Thana jeevatma. 
మోక్షమిస్తానన్నాడు ఆ మాట నిజమే కదా శరీరం పోయినప్పుడు తానే రాముణ్ణి అని తెలుసుకున్నాడు ఆ రాముడు కూడా అబ్సల్యూట్ ట్రూత్ కాదు దేర్ ఇస్ అ టైమ్ వెన్ దేర్ వాజ్ నో రామ్ బిఫోర్ హీ వాజ్ బోర్న్ వాజ్ దేర్ ఎ రామ్ సంథింగ్ దట్ హ్యాస్ కమ్ ఇన్ టు ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ అట్ అ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ కెన్ నాట్ బి అబ్సల్యూట్ ట్రూత్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ రామా రామా ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద బ్రహ్మన్ appearing as rama on the earth for a while and then remembered by the devotees for the future they worship rama they think of rama and love him they become ram and that is becoming means assuming anything that becomes ram ceases to be rama at the time of departure tyagaraja realized that he was rama and rama was brahman so he was to stay put in this creation till creation itself is withdrawn and they are absorbed into brahman this kind of explanation of creation and god's role is unique in vedic culture not that everyone has understood this simply because he can chant vedas it is not so it's a different matter so moksha is possible because you are god if you are not god moksha is not possible is it because of your conditioning that we are not god we are unable to stay put on that somebody asked this question master replies actually your conditioning is not that you are not god but i am a man the other side is the conditioning i am not god ani kuda ani kodaledi evaru i am a man anukuntunnar another question please tell us some technique whereby we can retain on the fact that we are god's master this is known as expatiating that is dwelling on the thought roju vivekanto o paavu ganta ee maatal gurinchi gnyapakam tesukunte oka roju ade ayipothundi self revelation is realization so you have to keep reminding yourself another question aithe memu man ani ela anukuntunnamo అలా మేము గాడ్ అని అనుకోగా అదే సిద్ధిస్తుంది అంతేనా మాస్టర్ సేస్ దెన్ యూ విల్ బి డిఫరెంట్ పర్సన్ టు ద వరల్డ్ ద అదర్స్ విల్ సే వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ టు యూ ఐ విల్ టేక్ యూ టు ద డాక్టర్ హూ ఈస్ ఎ రియల్ గురు గురు ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ గురు ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ మ్యాన్ గురు ఈజ్ ఎన్ ఎంటిటీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రిన్సిపల్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ గురు దట్ ఈస్ గాడ్ ఇన్ హోమ్ సో ఎవర్ హీ ఈస్ రిఫ్లెక్టింగ్ టోటలీ he sits in somebody's consciousness then he becomes true guru god should simply sit and be the consciousness inner consciousness of that human being then he is a guru his body consciousness his human nature his human form or a falsity to himself it may be a truth to you then he is a guru as long as the guru thinks that he is a human being he is not a reality వాడే హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ అనుకుంటే నీకెలా గురు అవుతాడు ద రియల్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ ఈస్ ఇన్ హిమ్ ఈస్ గాడ్ వాడు గాడే అందుకని దే ఇస్ నో డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ గురు గాడ్ ఆర్ గోయిన్ కబీర్ ఇస్ అ గ్రేట్ సెయింట్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ హి వాజ్ అ డివోటీ హీస్ అ జ్ఞానీ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ దట్ హీ ఈస్ నాట్ అటాచ్ టు ఎనీథింగ్ డస్ ఇట్ మీన్ దట్ హీ న్యూ ఆల్ అబౌట్ బ్రహ్మన్ దట్స్ అ డిఫరెంట్ మ్యాటర్ ఐ వుడ్ నాట్ డేర్ సే దిస్ somebody might find fault with me i know that saints are of different kinds different levels and they are great men great guides to men no doubt about it but a true guru the absolute parama guru is one in whom the god as brahman he is identifying himself with his body subconsciously he is not conscious all the time he is an assumed consciousness that he is a man he functions not in a lifeless mechanical way but with full intelligence his intelligence is his awareness of others reality about themselves since you think you are real i must behave like as though i am another human being like you if i would talk to you about falsehood of anything i will be confronting you i will be confusing you my communication with you should be confined to the level of reality of yourself and not my absolute reality you are in the first floor somebody is in the ground floor 
Can you talk to him directly face to face? So they have to share one floor. You have to come up or the other man has to. That is another thing. What is Paramaguru? Paramaguru is any consciousness, any human form in whom and in which the consciousness of the soul is only God conscious and nothing else. But functionally, the form is interacting with the others at the level of the other reality. I think it's clear. There is no language that you can speak to the reality in him. The whole thing is false. The whole thing is a drama taking place. There is nothing. All the soul's bodies coming and going, all this kind of huge phenomenon of billions of bodies being born and disappearing overnight. All this is a wink of an eye. In a hundred years, none of the present generation is available. What happened to the whole population between 1870 and 2001? Is there any one of the tears still remaining anywhere? Okay. Can you find any memory of the persons that lived? Is he existing anywhere? Memory of one person who lived then in 1875, there were some men. Even memory is not lasting. Memory also is erased. It has gone. So even the memory of our present existence is not going to be there after a little time later. To the Guru, the whole thing is a wink of an eye because he is time conscious, time not related to events in a limited frame of human life, but time totally not related to anything that is phenomenon in this world. In time, entire phenomenon is taking place. That supreme time consciousness is the consciousness of Paramaguru. That is the reality. Nothing else is real. Your coming is not real. Therefore, your going is not real. So you can't be reality to the Guru, which is why if I can perceive you as a false entity in the present form in me, I am competent to tell you that you will realize yourself because I have realized that you are false. I know what is real in you. The whole thing in you is unreal and the dot inside is reality. Even I am able to perceive in you, separate the unreality from that reality in you. I am definitely competent to say you will also realize the same thing one day. What we have to do for that? No, I do nothing. Doing something again. What does it? The man, no, the God, God does not do anything. Whatever the man can do is of no consequences, of no avail. So my realization about your soul being God, as separate from the falsehood of yourself being a human being, is your bone. My realization of your soul being God is your bone. It is not as though I am trying to make you realize. And all that I speak the truth, I speak the relative truth, not untruth. Everything is before you. You can discriminate. So the drama goes. Curtain is down every time. Try to understand then who is a guru. That absolute truth possessing this consciousness totally, leaving no part of it independent. Absolutely total consciousness is possessed by him. In that sense, guru is not different from God. In that sense, God is therefore the only Guru. There cannot be so many Gurus. Every time the same God is sitting in him, it means someone else, somebody else, some other time, the same God sat in him. Therefore, he was not the Guru. God was the Guru in him. God, Guru and Self are one and the same. That God is again. You have to realize that you are that. In that sense, when I say God, the only Guru, and Guru is God, and His presence anywhere makes the individual look like that. That is called a Guru. Guru ante yevati, God kada, God e. He is God. Yakkada, yala ante di. Ishtar du vada lopala vada bhavan lo unde twenty. Ishtar du to tadadne te edete unnado. His identification with God totally in Him is that He is my Guru. 
His individual body consciousness cannot be true to me. I too have it in plenty. His body consciousness, identifying himself with another body, complaining about stomachache and suffering and telling that he is really suffering. Can that be Guru? There is nothing like that. Whole thing is false to him. Therefore, false to you. The only reality is he is experiencing the God. That experience in that body, which is called the presence of God, that is your Guru. There is only one Guru manifesting several times in every century before every seeker appearing yet in another human form. Okade Ishwad, Okade Guru. You won't have to travel a long distance somewhere. What happened to the memory of the people that lived 100, 150 years ago, if that was all true? How can even the traces of the memory disappear? That was not true. The falsity of the phenomenal world around you and you are being a part of that falsity must be constantly getting reminded in you. Then the sorrows, problems vanish. Nothing really matters. Your daughter is getting 10% less in mathematics and that has become a serious problem to you. How and why you have forgotten the falsity? The truth of falsity is forgotten. Well, the guru has wakeful state, sleep state, dream state as a human being. There is an uninterrupted consciousness, a continuity. The stream of oil going out does not break like water. It has the continuity. One single line, you see, oil has been flowing regularly. The tin is getting empty and getting filled. The line is continuous. Love that constant unbroken awareness of consciousness of God in the Guru must be located by you. His interaction with others is a falsity, assumed individuality, interacting with false individualities of others. This plane is different. There is one God, one Lord, and uninterrupted awareness in the consciousness of the Lord is realizable in you as you are not different from Him. All forms, all names, all experiences, never then not be guided guided by not let not into that false notion that you are suffering you are happy look at yourself from above suppose you fly into the space and look at the earth it's like a football further it looks like a badminton ball further it's a dot far away not immediately but you are the perceiver the earth is perceived what happened it used to be huge ball Rolling in the space disappeared. It means where do you place yourself, it matters. Place yourself in God. From there, try to look at yourself. Imagine that God is somewhere in Vaikuntam, Leda, Kailasam. Doesn't matter, somewhere in the space in the Brahmanam. Place yourself there and look at your fleeting existence. Not with that at the time of yours on earth. You are able to physically realize this. Why should you have any kind of regret, suffering, emulate? Brahma Satyam Jagan Mitcha, Nehalana Astikinchana, Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Eva Brahma, Aham Asmi, Aham Brahmasmi, E Mahamakyaraki, Na Bhashalo Nene Shippen, Sarvam Kalmeda Brahma. These are the sutras, the great sentences in the Brahma Sutras. These sentences, sutras are truth. Apply mind, discriminate, not your intelligence when you analyze. The whole thing vanishes. It's a vanishing trick, not made something vanishing trick. But you vanish yourself from this falsehood. That is a real vanishing trick. Why difficulties taking you to a realm of imagination, a false happiness lasting for a minute? It is the other way around. From the falsehood to the truth, when a child is crying, you can tell a story to the child stops crying and listens to the story, not the way from falsehood to truth we are traveling in this discussion. See the falsehood. We don't have others' arguments to convince that something is false. You can provide the argument with your intelligence, language to others. That capability is inherent in all of you. 
every one of you can be guru unto yourself unto any other in this sense saints are all right jesus was a saint somebody else was a saint many saints in india absolute truth is different as a human being being a perfect human being living and giving only love not hatred you may call them saints no doubt that is the stage of a perfection of human being there the realization of god starts they are not to be mistaken as that tyagaraju kabir vilantha examples they are great teachers to common man but they have not yet landed into absolute reality i am not saying anything about a particular individual how do i know whether kabir is this or that tyagaraja has given about himself in his verses the general principle i have explained forms of god is an intermediary stage for the human being between human level the god and the absolute truth many sages realize that many saw vishnu before them dhruva was insulted by his step mother father did not show any sympathy when the step mother insulted he went to his mother and said i feel forlorn i am insulted i don't want to stay here mother said right go to god there is only one father one mother they did not believe in a false father false mother and false insult life is like this go to a single father where even gods worshiped him three years old child started walking he was a child of destiny of troll sage narada appeared to him he said om namo narayanaya this is the name of vishnu and chant wait for his darshan waiting for his darshan that was tapas when you are very very keen waiting for someone you don't have other thought exclusive thought of vishnu is called tapas so till that stage he stayed but he has closed his eyes he was not able to see vishnu physically before him because he was told that vishnu is different from him he was imagining the arrival of vishnu so in this condition he was seeing vishnu within but he was physically also was there before as long as he was able to visualize vishnu in himself he was transformed into a shape of consciousness of vishnu within him was vishnu consciousness the soul was vishnu but vishnu was also found standing before him vishnu withdrew in the inner experience so that he would open the eye immediately vishnu appeared from his heart dhruva opened his eyes and there he was it was a state of duality into which he has descended from the state of non duality why did this happen god wanted dhruva this individual must grow up. he must live should not get merged in me there is a purpose for this man's future living certain destined actions are there to be gone through by him the story is in mahabhagavatam you will see many such stories they are not related to any particular religion or particular any human in any religion can understand this let not any religion impose restraint and restriction a finished human being as i said in the beginning of a man is a single unity